I want to speak about something that you probably have not considered. I believe Jesus Christ was, I believe Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ died for our sins. I believe he was beaten, humiliated, and probably so much the more. And we may know this, but I don't think we know how extreme that is. Would you want to be beaten and crucified? Like, would you offer yourself up to save another? Not saying something, you know, if someone shoots you, if they get you in a very deadly place, you may not feel too much pain. But what I am saying, would you go through the torment that Jesus Christ went through for another? I know for myself, I don't think I would. Honestly, I would not. What Jesus Christ went through, I would not go through that for another. Maybe you say, maybe you may say that is bad. How can't you sacrifice yourself like that for another? <laughs> hey, I can't do it. And perhaps you can't do it either. So think about this. Someone that was pretty much tortured and crucified and humiliated and probably so much the more did all of that to save you. For you to have the opportunity to be saved. Imagine how big of a thing that is. You may go to church and you may have heard something like this many times. But do we really consider how big that is? Like, I think it is one thing to say it, but if you were to see it, maybe it would take upon a total new meaning. Imagine... Let's say that you did something wrong and the punishment was for you to be tortured. But another one volunteers to go through what you're supposed to go through. And imagine seeing it. Imagine seeing it for yourself. Now, would you take it as you may take it now. Yes, Jesus Christ died for my sins. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, if you were to see a person being punished for what you did wrong, like, I believe you would be very, like, appreciative. Like, you probably would be very grateful And why aren't we that way now? Maybe many of us don't know all that he went through, but I believe that he went through some really, really horrible things for our benefit. I just told you what Jesus Christ went through. I would never do that for anyone. I am going to be honest. Someone is going to be hitting me on the face and spitting on me and beat me and stuff like that. And my body all messed up and put me on the cross. No, 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 no. I would not do that for no one. I'm sorry.
Maybe I am not sorry, but I am not going to do that for no one. And probably you would not either. So think about it, man. Think about what Jesus Christ really did for you. While, you know, you probably are at home, probably complaining about your car problems, probably complaining about your relationship I, uh, problems, maybe complaining about the bad roads and stuff like that, but are you really considering what Jesus Christ did for you? Dying for your sins. Like those, I don't know if, um, you know, I've seen on the Passion of the Christ, those long nails. I don't know if that is accurate, but if that is accurate, can you, like, would you want really long nails to go into your hand? Imagine that. Imagine that. I think I heard something about crucifixions and I may not have it all correct, but I believe when you get crucified, if I'm stating this rightly, and I may not be stating this rightly, but uh, I believe you suffocate or something like that. So imagine, so if that is true, so if you do suffocate, imagine suffocating. How horrible is that? Not being able to breathe too well. I don't know if you all know anything about, about asthma. Asthma is horrible. Imagine not being able to breathe too well while you are in pain no. Let me stop right here. May God bless you.